from the Long Way to Pro. Today I'm introducing an idea that I got this last week, and that is the One Hole Ace Challenge. This is the first video I'm producing expressly for IGTV, and I'm hoping it gets a little bit more reach here than YouTube, although I'll probably still put it on YouTube as well. So here's how this is going to work. Go to your local disc golf course, pick one hole. For it to be eligible for this challenge, it needs to be a par 3 that's over 99 feet or outside of circle 3, if that even exists. Please note, you must be on an official course layout through UDISC to have your score count. I'll talk about that a little bit more later. <clears throat> Once you've chosen your hole, um, you can start throwing your discs at it. While you're throwing, make sure to count how many discs you've thrown at it before you finally get one in. Once you finally get that ace, simply upload a picture of yourself with your lucky disc and put the following information in your caption. The date, course name slash layout, hole number, distance of hole, what disc you made it in with, and the number of tries it took you. Once you've done that, either tag me in an Instagram post or DM me through Instagram, and I will add your username and relevant info to a leaderboard that I will update every Sunday provided we get enough people to get this challenge rolling. Once you've completed the challenge, tag two people in the comments of this video and challenge them to beat your score. So I'm here at hole one at Seifold Memorial Disc Golf Course on the beautiful Western Illinois University campus. It's 124 feet straight uphill with a pretty clear line to the basket. I will record every shot, but I will only share the best ace runs with you um, in this video. However, I will keep a counter on screen to make sure that you trust me and my results. Since this hole is short, I'm only going to be throwing putters, mid-ranges, and then if I get really desperate, I have a couple of fairways that I will throw in as well. Um, but yeah, just mainly going for the short stuff. Just, it's right there. So with that, let's start slinging discs. Hope we can get one in soon, because it's kind of cold. Disc I've aced with. Let's see if it brings me some more of that luck. Another chain out. Thank you. 
63. So just a quick update, I've gone through 69 discs, I've drawn metal probably five times, I've had two chain outs, uh, so I'm going into throw 70. Here's hoping I can get it soon. This hole is harder than it looks because this tree here blocks the backhand hyzer. So you really have to go something neutral up the middle or get it to hyzer right before you get to the tree. So it's harder than it looks, but I still should have had it uh, twice. But you know, what do you, what can you do when you have Mach 3 spinning out your disc? So. This Ezra Adderhold signed Paul Macbeth Luna, challenging him and Paul Macbeth to this challenge. seven tries uh, that's pretty crazy um, finally got it with the Paul Macbeth uh, Luna that's signed by Ezra Adderhold so I'll be challenging Ezra Adderhold and Paul Macbeth to this challenge I'll also be challenging Forge DG uh, for sure and then I may go back and add some later so um, yeah definitely if you liked this challenge you don't need me to challenge you to do it go ahead and do it uh, follow the instructions I gave at the intro of the video, and I will probably put them in the description below as well. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Peace out.